Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki here and I have an unboxing for you. Um, when you get a pizza box delivery, that usually means it's scrapbooking supplies. And even though I am not a scrapbooker, I love all the pretty papers and fun things. And honestly, the minute I saw the release of Songs of the Sea by Stamperia, I knew I needed to have some of it. The collection is so huge, I didn't order all of it, not even close. But if you love the ocean just half as much as I do, this is just the most delightful collection and I can't wait to see what it looks like in real. So let's have a little sticky beak and see what's in here. Oh, okay, so the first thing I see is pretty things. These are, I presume, freebies because I did not order these sheets. These are from Minte and they're very, very pretty. Beautiful cut aparts. I think I'll have fun fussy cutting and using those at some stage. But this is what we're here for. Let me just shimmy this over and pull this all out and try and get it into screen as much as possible. Let's have a, there we go. Get that out of the way. We don't want to see the box. All right, let's have a look. So I saw this on social media and I instantly Googled who was selling this product. And I managed to order this from a company I've never used before. They're called Paper Flourish. They're down in South Australia. And I ended up ordering off them because they had a promotion because it was a pre-order, because the stock hadn't arrived yet. They offered a discount on this brand new collection. So I went, oh, I think I'm going to order it with you. Now... Oh, my dear Lord, look at all this gorgeousness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, let's put all this aside for a moment. <laughs> and we'll start with the papers so that you get a good idea of what this is all about. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so first of all, we have the... 10 double faced sheets. So what if we think, let's just open it up and have a look. Because so I think you've got your main scrap thing and then you've got this and backgrounds. That's right. I ordered, I ordered both of these big ones with the full intentions of chopping them up and making all sorts of pretty things. Um, the other thing I love is that they open up like a book. And just have a look at this. Oh my, the worst part with this is they're all, all the pages are so beautiful. How are you ever meant to pick? Look at this delightful mermaid. Even though she has the tiniest hint of steampunk, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. And of course, Stamperia are renowned for adding a hint of steampunk to their collections. This is certainly not the first one I've bought. Oh my gosh, have a look how delightful this is. Oh dear, how do you ever pick? See, she's so pretty. She has shells and flowers and things with a couple of little cogs thrown in. I just find this the most fabulous collection without it's not too steampunk but it's not overly pretty either oh my gosh have a look at the have a look at this one mermaid song oh wow oh the artwork in this is just amazing so here we've got some great good size pieces for pockets and things like that making a journal that's of course where my head is with all of this making a journal or two or ten Oh, have a look at this gorgeous thing. Love the, love the octopus. Oh, jellyfish, I should say. Oh, isn't this stunning? It's even prettier in real. I, I mean, I know when I first saw it on social media, I went crazy. But, oh, my gosh, have a look at this. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. 
How fantastic is this? Oh, honestly. And then look, there's a little spider in the in the lantern. Love these bottles. Oh, do you know what? I might have to order another pack of this so that I can have all the things. I just might have to do that. Oh, look at these. How fabulous is this? Again, great to make journal cards with or, again, still a great size to make pockets in a journal with. Oh, this is amazing. Look at and the backs of these are beautiful too. That's the trouble. That's the worst part with these things. Both sides are always so beautiful. Look at this, the treasure, the coins. Oh, this is truly delightful. That back is gorgeous too. Oh, cut apart sheet. Don't know if I could actually cut this apart. You, you could, but no, it might be better to keep it more whole. Oh, love the sea urchin. Wow. Oh, beautiful map. Oh, look, ready-made tags. Good to go. Oh, they are beautiful, but not so pretty, pretty. So what I love is that these sort of images can be combined with, you know, like coffee dyed paper and, and, and a little bit of grunge and stuff like that, or can be used with very light colours if you want to make it a little bit more pretty, if that's the right word. You can swing both ways with this. Oh, wow. Have a look at this delightful thing. You've got all these corals and shells and a bit of reef. Oh, jeepers. And then, of course, here's your fussy cut sheet. Another gorgeous mermaid. See, these are a great size for journals. This would have to be for a tall journal. But how stunning would that be on the cover? Oh, boy. This is why I love Stamperia products. So let me just put this away. I won't, just so I keep everything neat and tidy. Then, of course, we also had to order the background sheets. Because these I love using when making journals. Let's have a little sticky look at this. All right. Oh, look at that. Love the vintage writing. Love this ocean theme. Oh, my gosh. Aren't these just stunning? Love the scales. Mermaid scales. Fish scales. The That would be like the metal of, the sh of a ship. Old newsprint. That coral, at least I've got another whole one of those. I know which side I can use in the main pad. Some net. Oh, love these vintage fish images. Oh, my gosh. This is truly stunning. Beautiful blue. Oh, I love this octopus. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is stunning. Well, I'm definitely not disappointed. More newsprint style. Lovely neutral sort of piece. Great for embellishing. Oh, all of these are. Oh, my dear Lord. These are so stunning. This one has your definite steampunk bits and pieces. A giant piece of coral. Oh, my gosh. And a slightly different style of ocean floor, but absolutely gorgeous. And see, this is another thing. Not everything has the steampunk element. So if you want to sort of err away from using a lot of that, then that's not a problem either. Oh, my gosh. These truly are stunning. Love it. So, yes. So they're the papers. But, of course, we couldn't just buy the papers. There were other things. Now, this, I wasn't sure what this was, but you know what? I am now figuring it out. I think it's like the Minte sheet that I got as my freebie. These are elongated papers. 
Let's have a look. 10 double faced sheets, acid free. Collectibles. Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we have lots of mermaids to play with. I had a funny feeling these would be great for pieces to cut up for journaling. And of course, I was correct because these are such a good size. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Are they properly? They are. I think they're properly. No, they're not. No. She... Yes. I think you cut that out and you've got it double sided. Oh, wow. Yes. How clever is that? So whichever way you want her to go, you've got it. Gorgeous treasure chests and coins. This is so clever. So you cut this out and then you can have it whichever way you, whichever direct, like the ship, whichever direction you want it to be in. What a fabulous idea. The ocean is calling. My soul belongs to the sea. Well, that is definitely me. And then they have a plain background. Some gargoyle stuff. Oh, this, I adore this. That's beautiful. Oh, this is such a clever idea. Why have I never seen this before? I think it's because I've moved up the coast away from my gorgeous scrapbooking shop that I always used to go to, and I would have then spied these fabulous inventions. Oh, look at these old bottles. Aren't they delightful? Wow. Some very vintagey pieces. Love it. Oh, gorgeous shells and corals. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at these. And some sea life. Oh, that is fabulous. All right. Oh, my God. Look at all the portals. Oh, I, you know how trouble is now I'm overwhelmed. I don't know where to start. This is just so delightful. So then we have ordered two die cuts. Now, I'm not sure how we determine the difference of these because I can't see. But this one, these are, and now these are not thin die cuts. They are thicker. They're, oh look, I'll open one of these packets. And we'll have a sticky beak. So this one is all shells and mermaids. And this one here is, this one I think is the more vintagey pieces. Hang on, let, let's just have a look here. We'll open one of these. So I can show you. So these are very 3D. So for making things, uh, like for adding to journal covers and things like that, these are perfect. They're strong and heavy duty. So look for it. Oh, look at this. Have a look at that. And so she is nice and thick. So these are perfect for building up layers on a journal. Things like... Oh, Look at this shell. Stingrays. Looks as though you must get two of each one. Don't know oh, they're getting caught on the sticky tape. Oh, wow. Have a look at this. Look. Oh, my gosh. Love the fish. Oh, love the shark. So you get the drift. So these are definitely for building layers. Um, also things like if you want to decorate, you know, like cardboard boxes and things like that for displaying, that's what they would be perfect for and sort of what I'm thinking I will be using most of those for. So we have this other pack here. There's treasure chests and things like that in that one. Absolutely delightful. Then we have these are uh, more traditional die cuts. So it looks as though it's quite similar images as to what we had there before. But these are adhesive and they are nowhere near as thick. There's some corals and things like that that I can see in there. Oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. Then I purchased this stencil. 
I don't have a couple of times I've thought I wish I had a stencil to do rope with because um, I've made a few under the sea things and decided this would be the one stencil of course I now want all the other stencils I've I've seen a few things on YouTube and how somehow some of the other stencils have been used so I might have to order some more of those I think but at least I've got that one then this is some rub-ons. I haven't used rub-ons for years, but I just loved these images. So I grabbed that. Oh, I do. I just love that jellyfish and those corals. They are delightful. So that's that one. Now, this is the other thing. I have never seen this before in a scrapbooking collection. Or maybe I've just been living under a rock but these are fabric pieces and I just I mean I know Tim Holtz does them but I've never I wonder if I can find my state foot remover because I, oh, I don't know I didn't think about that did I but I don't want to break my fingernail hang on let me see what else can I find close by that will let me hmm come on Nick you must have something on this desk that would help you oh look this might do the trick so, yes, other than Tim Holtz and his grungy things, which I, I sort of haven't had any luck finding in Australia. If anyone knows where you can buy the Tim Holtz fabrics in Australia, please let me know down in the comments because I've done a bit of Googling, but I didn't seem to get very far, and I would seriously love to know. These are very heavy-duty staples, by the way, too, and I don't want to break a fingernail. But this is working quite well. There we go. So this is a four pack, as you can see. Have a look at this. Let's see, which one do I pick? Oh, there we go. And we gently slide this off. So needless to say, of course, we had to purchase this. And have a look at this. Oh my gosh, this is the cleverest idea. There we go. Oh, isn't that beautiful? So I am thinking, and if I wanted to make a, a tall journal, of course, this would be the perfect size. You could actually, no, you could make a very decent sized journal with this, with that folded in half. And by the looks of things, this, star, this sort of fabric, has it been sealed? The, oh, no. Yeah, it's like it's been sealed. It's not going to fray, I don't think. So you could even have it put on top of cardboard or papers if you wanted to make a larger size journal, because I presume it must be 12 by 12, is it? Let's have a look. Is it 12 by 12? Yeah, 30 centimetres. So that, that's your standard cardboard size. But isn't this just the best thing ever? I love it. So we now have fabric that we can use so yes incredibly happy with those I had to have those that was probably the first thing I went for when I saw this I thought oh my gosh I hope they're stocking the fabric and when I saw that they did I went that's it so I just kept adding to cart and then finally and as I said this is a huge oops it's all sliding down this is a huge collection I've only ordered a tiny bit but I think we must add more but I thought this looked fabulous. This is Hello Paste. Gold, green, blue, and violet. And it gives everything a gorgeous glow. So when I start using all of this, we'll do a bit of a test run with these. Um, initially, I just had the big gold one in my cart. And then I saw this four pack. And I went, all right, get rid of the big gold because I don't even know exactly how. I don't know whether you rub this on. I've actually forgotten. So we're going to have to do some Googling and find out. But I will show you how it works. If I remember correctly, it's it gives things a beautiful sheen with a metallic undertone. So we're going to play with those one day. But that's it for now. I just wanted to show you this beautiful collection. If you love the ocean, this Stamperia kit is definitely the one for you. If you have any questions, pop them down in the box below. Hope you enjoyed this and bye until next time. Stay safe and stay healthy.